This week on WDD's Hotspot, a new wearable is about to change your underwater life. Swimmo is a smartwatch and personal swimming coach. I can't imagine being yelled at to butterfly better by some rando voice underwater, but anyway. The Swimmo tracks your distance, pace, heart rate, and calories burned, and makes sure that users stay within their ideal training zones by alerting them with vibrations when it's time to speed up or slow down. The device integrates gesture control, a heart rate sensor, intensity coach, and pace keeper. Also integrated is rotate and tap technology that uses two simple hand gestures, rotating the wrist to select menu options Options and tap the display to confirm. The smartwatch syncs its results to the free Swimmo app so users can monitor their progress over time. The watch uses Bluetooth 4.0 to communicate with the free Swimmo app so users can monitor their progress over time. The device's interface is displayed on an OLED full color screen adapted to work underwater. For more information, head to Kickstarter to check it out. Jawbone, yes, the fitness band, and American Express have partnered to bring mobile payments to the new Jawbone Up 4. With the device on hand or wrist, <laughs> American Express cardholders will be able to make purchases anywhere that accepts contactless payments, even if they don't have their phone on them. When you're out jogging and you need a water, just tap the wristband on the register and run out. Well, maybe walk so people don't think you're stealing, but anyway, the Up4 is identical to the Up3, only with a few added features, including the mobile payment option and bioimpedance sensors that can determine things like your heart rate, respiration, and sweat level. That's disgusting. Anyway. It's water resistant up to 33 feet and can last up to seven days on a single 100 minute charge. When you go for a run outside, you don't really have to think about your speed, it just kind of happens. On a treadmill, when you have to manually adjust the speed of the machine, it never really feels right. <laughs> Scientists at the Ohio State University, specifically Professor Stephen DeVore and former grad student Corey Shedler, had developed a prototype treadmill that detects when its user's running speed changes and adjusts its own speed accordingly. The treadmill tracks the user with an inexpensive sonar range finder that's aimed at a point between their shoulder blades. If you start moving towards the front of the treadmill's belt, the rear mounted range finder detects that you're moving away from it and responds by instructing the treadmill to go faster. If you move towards the back of the belt, it realizes you're getting closer and tells the treadmill to slow down. Apparently the transition is so smooth that you won't even notice when it's happening. I kind of want to try it. DeVore is currently developing the treadmill further with hopes of ultimately commercializing the system. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> A team of MIT chemists have developed a small sensor that's capable of telling consumers whether the meat in their refrigerators is safe to eat. The inexpensive device, which makes use of modified carbon nanotubes, can help cut down on food waste. The idea behind the sensor focuses on chemically altering carbon nanotubes so that their ability to carry an electric current is inhibited when a certain gas, produced by meat when it starts to decay, is present. When these gases are present, then the electrical resistance in the carbon nanotube is increased with the reaction easily measured to provide feedback to the user. The sensors are cheap and easy to manufacture, use very little power, and do not require any expertise to use. The devices could be incorporated into the packaging of meat products, which is way more accurate than just a standard expiration date. That's all for this week. For more exclusive news, visit wirelessdesignmag.com, and don't forget about our Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn pages. For WDD, I'm Janine Mooney, and I'll see you next time. Our what? Let's skip that sentence. I don't know why I repeated myself 700 times. This sounds awesome. I can't do that during the video. I can't. John hates me. <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs>